Mandalorian. A lot of cool stuff there. So that's what we're doing today upon your guys' request. I'm going to attempt to make the Mandalorian helmet. And it's gonna work. And by that I mean fully functioning, heads up display, super zoom, night vision, right inside the helmet. No, no dude! Come on. Doing the helmet because I've already done a couple of videos featuring heads up displays. Like several versions of the Edith glasses, so I think this could be like a cool continuation of that. But if you guys are into the Mandalorian and want to see me do more projects, he's got like a wrist flamethrower, grappling hook, all of which are right up my alley. So I'm confident I can make some pretty cool versions of those. Either way, let me know what I should do next down below. More Mandalorian or any other ideas you might have, because uh, your comments will inspire my next Building Your Ideas video. So yeah, don't sleep on it. Moving on though to some stuff that you guys have made and uh, sent to me on the old Instagram. <music> Always fun to see what you guys are making. So remember, don't be afraid to hit me up at JLazer Video on Instagram. I don't bite. DM or tag me in any project videos you've done. And hit it with a follow if you want. All right, so this Mandalorian heads up display helmet. In the show, it looks like the helmet has some like vision enhancing capabilities. Not to spoil anything too much, but I think in like the third episode when they're walking around in the woods looking for like the village's enemies, Mando uses some sort of like thermal night vision AI to see some footprints in the dark. Then when rescuing baby Yoda, he uses his helmet to uh, check out the scene from uh, far away. Way. Now I'm not sure if this is like thermal imaging or some sort of like IR x-ray whatever because footsteps made like two days ago were really the same temperature as normal ground. Also seeing through walls is nearly impossible with thermal cameras because um, walls are generally insulated. Maybe he was using some sort of like lower frequency like radio waves which see through walls quite well but that's a rabbit hole we're not going to go down right now. So I'm just going to interpret the helmet as being able to do long range and night vision. And that's what we're going to try to make. This is the way. I've actually attempted similar projects in the past like this has been on my shelf for a while here, this uh, helmet, right right next to this shiny new gold play button right there. I don't know if you saw that. Like and subscribe. Not my, not my, not my cleanest work, but give me a break. I was probably like 13. There's an IR dash cam taped onto a paintball helmet, it looks like. Gotta put that back. Also, I made a super zoom night vision hat that worked pretty well, but it had its problems. So for this version, we're gonna upgrade and we're gonna go with a legit night vision setup. This night vision setup is meant for like hunters to see deer or other prey like a couple hundred yards away. So you can see a very long range and complete darkness. So it should be perfect for what we're doing here. Now all I gotta do is build the helmet and then figure out a way to make night vision setup like a heads up display right in your eye. Shouldn't be too hard, right? I was wrong, it was hard. So I first started out by making a paper version. Uh, made from a template, I'll link it below, with the plan of later turning it into a full metal version. Uh, but I realized that if I wanted to use this template, I'd have to cut the metal into strips for the dome, uh, and I don't think that would look very good. Otherwise, I would need tools that I don't have in order to like curve metal. Thankfully, 3D printed to the rescue. I ended up 3D printing the dome top part uh, of the Mandalorian helmet uh, using a CAD model I just got off GrabCAD. And then the bottom part, I was actually able to follow the template using some uh, aluminum sheets. So to fit the night vision in the helmet, I first had to rip it apart to see what the components were. Uh, it pretty much consisted of a camera with a pretty big lens. That's what you need to get that super zoom. Then a mini display to view the camera output and then a high power IR LED. The big trick was then to figure out where to mount everything like in the helmet. Originally I wanted to mount it like behind the black part of the mask, you know, like the maybe next to the eye because it's got he's got that like strip of black. This way it would be undetectable, wouldn't compromise the look of the design at all. But it turns out the helmet is too small to shove a giant telescopic lens right next to your face. So then I started thinking maybe I could fit it like under my neck. It still turned out to be too in the way. Finally, I decided to shove it on top of my head, then angle the video screen so it's facing downward, and then use a mirror to sort of bounce my vision up and into the display. So everything was going to plan. Last step now is to paint this thing because the whole helmet's supposed to be metal and right now only half of it is because we 3D printed the other half. <laughs> 
This was by far the worst part of the whole project. Uh, this took like two days of just messing around with different freaking colors of like metallic paint you could Metallic, metallic, metallic. None of it works. Granted, a lot of this is my fault. I decided to pour some glue over it, solidify it, then I was gonna sand that down. Problem was, the glue I used turns into like this goop when it hardens. So now I had a, the helmet just with a bunch of goop on it. Normally, this metal stuff would have been fine. It would have looked great. But because it's next to real metal, you can clearly see the difference. So I decided finally, if it's gonna look like it's gonna look like on my terms. So I went with a sort of like, He's been in battle, look. Maybe got hit with a blaster, his helmet's charred on the one side, there's like soot everywhere. So that's sort of what I did. Here is what we came up with. Da 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 da. Huh? Huh? See what I did there? You know, not, not horrible. I'm not completely satisfied by any means with this finish, but it is what it is made the best of it. Here's how it works. So as I said, this bottom part's metal, top part's 3D printed. Visor is made of uh, some plastic with just a little bit of window tint over it. You can sort of see the viewing angles inside here with this light. See this whole middle part's clear, which you can see out. And then you got some of this top area, uh, which you can also see out. And inside here, I lined it with a uh, fake leather fabric. I don't know, I think I thought it looked kind of cool. We open everything up underneath, we can Sort of see the, you can see the lens down in there. I was able to re reroute the screen. Screen is actually pointing downwards and then this mirror angles it uh, back into our eye. So then the lens actually, it turns out, doesn't need that big of a hole to see. So uh, the lens just peeks out of this tiny little hole in the top. To control it though, we've got this little flip up side panel. Normally it's down flush with the helmet, but when we want to control the buttons, sort of pop this up. Bend it up a little bit and in there. Hard to see, but we've got like the power button right here. So if we hold that down, there we go. See the screen down in there. If I cover the camera with my hand, it is in fact live feed right to your eyeball. So this has got a bunch of different modes in here. There's like digital zoom. You can also record. So it's slipping on your head. It's a pretty tight fit. Looks pretty sweet. What up? I don't know if you can see this glow in there, but there it is. You can see that glow in there. Obviously, it's a lot more faint than just a flashlight, so this camera can pick it up, but your eyes, for the most part, can't see that LED. So that's how we get our long-range night vision. One other thing we can add to this whole setup, if we want, are these uh, nifty heads-up display glasses I've got right here. If you watch this channel, you already know what these are. These are the Fusex Blades. Most high-tech smart glasses I've got. So these have another heads-up display in them, so we can sort of double up on this display action. These come equipped with like Alexa and weather, and they're tied into the internet. A bunch of cool different apps you can use, video chat through them, so uh, sort of add like uh, another layer of technology to this helmet. Really get an overload of like nerdy tech. Oh yeah. All right, I think we gotta go test this thing out for real. All right, so I figured to test this thing out, we'd wait till it's night out and uh, go take a look down my street. Uh, but since I'm not really trying to creep on anyone's houses, I figured we'd hang up these uh, pictures of baby Yoda <laughs> to see if we can see. So I'm gonna walk all the way down to the end of the street. This just really shows how dark it is. You really can't see anything. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Whatever, you know what, screw it, we'll leave it. I'm gonna put one of this baby Yodas on these posts right here, and I'm gonna be standing right over there. I'm gonna take the other one and we're gonna keep going a little bit. All the way to the end of the road. Putting the other baby Yoda on the bottom of the sign right here. I'm gonna be standing all the way at the other end of this road, so I'm gonna pace it out. And one, two, three, 174, 175. About 175 paces or 175 yards. Throw on the headgear and uh, see if we can see it. On she goes. Rolling. It's a telephone pole. Oh, there it is. Zoom in on that. Got the first Yoda.
All right, so we're seeing the sign that it's on, but I'm gonna switch the two signs because one of them I left cut out and one of them wasn't. The one that wasn't is I think a little bit easier to see because of the contrast. So we're just gonna switch those two. Even the fact that we can make out that sign, which is probably like 175 yards away is in complete darkness. Like you can't see it with this camera. I'll zoom in as much as you want. There's no chance. Oh, let's see what's inside this black thing right here. Oh, more black. So in the video, it looks like we clearly got the first picture. That one was about like 60, 70 yards away, so about like 200 feet. But then the further picture though, I think it was asking a little bit too much to see the picture that was literally like the size of my hand from 175 yards away, which is like 530 feet or something like that. Like just the fact that we could make out the sign at all, I'm impressed by. Very good night vision capability with this. Clearly make out there was a building in the background. Uh, if there's a person standing there, you definitely be able to see them. Obviously there's still plenty of work to be done on this. Maybe adding some AI, increasing the clarity of the camera because I think I hit a wire, sort of making the picture a little bit fuzzy, uh, but just basic stuff like that. Uh, anyways, I hope you did like it. As I said, let me know what I should make in the next video. Obviously like and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.